This is for worksheet 25.4, and we're going to look at this section here, 1 through 5. If you look at these four letters, A, A, B, and C, number 1 is asking you to list all the different arrangements that are possible. So here, um, I'm not going to list all of them, but if you did, you should come up with 12 different ways of arranging those four letters. So if you look at question two, the question is, what's your total, or what was your total equivalent to four factorial? We know here there, there were four things that needed to be arranged, and in previous problems when we're arranging things, we end up being able to do four times three times two times one. If we were to try that on this problem, we get 24. So this total that the number of arrangements you got on number one is not the same as four factorial. The reason for that is that one of the elements, A, is repeated. So if we were to try to represent the, this total of 12 as a factorial, we could start with 4 factorial, but we need to divide by 2 factorial because of the two repeated A's that you have in the original problem. So in this format here, the numerator represents total number of elements. And number five, what does the denominator represent? The number of times <coughs> A is repeated. So if we look also um, at an example similar to this, um, let's go ahead and look at number 11. Um, we're finding Using factorials, calculating the number of distinguishable ways that the letters in the word sassafras can be arranged. So if we use this format here, the numerator will be the total number of letters. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the denominator is going to represent the number of times each element is repeated factorial. So we have an S repeated 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. The A is repeated one, two, three times. And then um, F and R are not repeated. Um, so you don't need to put one factorial and one factorial, um, since those would just be equal to one. So if you were to expand this out, <coughs> you'll notice a lot of things will end up canceling out, which will make it a little bit easier to figure out what this is equal to. So 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1 cancel out. The 3 times 2 is equal to 6, so I'm also going to cancel the 6 out up here. So when we evaluate this, we only need to multiply 10, 9, 8, and 7, and we get 5,040 ways that this word could be arranged. <coughs> 